What did you think about the performance this evening? It was beautiful. It, it was like a blissful, hypnotic, magic carpet ride down the Ganjai River. Well, I thought it was beautiful. Really, really lovely. That first song was my favorite, so I, I really kind of it got it caught my attention. But it, within the first song, I was already. Relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, different from a lot of movies, it was much more of a spiritual, emotional kind of experience rather than any intellectual response. You felt one with the music, and how did you feel about not having um, typical instruments and whatnot in the background? You don't even notice that. Uh, is, you know, it, it, you sort of lose track of time, and you literally feel like you're sitting at his feet. Oh, I'm, I'm a student of world music, so um, the tambura was there to keep the pitch and keep the drone, which is a common element in Indian music. Your mind just starts wandering and it's, it's, it's an experience. I like the effect of Dolby Atmos with all the bird sounds and river sounds and so on being all around. He's an amazing singer and, and he was just Basically, what they were talking about was, you know, we're sta we're sitting there next to him. Basically, normally when you record outside, it sounds very thin and difficult to, you know, it's, you can't really get behind it. But this had a richness to it that was really lovely. <laughs> Even though we're outdoors and you don't have the feeling of being in a room, the intimacy of the sound was really, really lovely. It was so relaxing and, you know, it, it was a beautiful experience. And I think that, you know, even though the language is not my own, the message is quite clear. Krishna's art and his voice and having him just be there by himself was uh, quite remarkable.